Welcome, everyone, to the Horror Cast, episode 85. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello, all. What's up, Chris? What's up? Okay, so we got some news. What do you got, Chris? So this shouldn't really come as a surprise to anybody. I think we've been saying this for a while, even before they even probably wrote this article. Yeah. Um, Resident Evil, the movie series, is getting rebooted. Yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're going to be seeing more. So uh, Constantine, it's, it, it's actually spelled Constantine, but okay. Constantine film chairman uh, Martin, I'm not even going to attempt to say that last yeah. name, <laughs> um, told Variety that they are rebooting it. And apparently this is a German production company that's doing it. And their plan is they're going to try and do six movies. Six. I guess. Too yeah. soon. How many are on now? I think there are six. Okay. Yeah. So they're going to, and it's going to be completely different characters. I hope so. That doesn't they say. say that, but I thought they did say it. I thought they said they're not going to use Alice. They're not going to use Joe. No, it doesn't say gonna... that here. Really? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm assuming I... if it's a reboot, it's going to have different characters, but right. The one I saw, I'm, I gave you the one from Dark Horizons, right? Yeah. Okay. The one I saw, I think, had a different thing on it. Let me just. Send it to you. Maybe we have different information, I hope. Unless, of course, let's see. I mentioned, uh, I mentioned this on Facebook. It's too soon, folks. Uh, can we wait just a, a, just a few? I'm going to say just a couple years or three years till we do a reboot of something that just ended. And I got several likes on that. Let this movie die down a bit and then. I know it's going to be a while till they actually get it going, but still. You want to know why they're doing it this fast? Because the video game Resident Evil 7 did so well. Like, beyond well. Mm -hmm. Like, really, really, really well. Where not only will it green light Resident Evil 8, but it will green light Resident Evil 9. Like, I mean, that well. So they're like, they're like, oh, let's just, you know, while, while it's popular, let's get it out, get it out. That's, that's what it is. Yeah. Now this article doesn't say about anything about the characters either. Not them, right? It says okay. there's, there's no direct, there's no news on the direction that they're going. Okay. Um, to be honest with you, they don't necessarily have to do, you know, based off the video games. Uh, you know, I, I, I would, however, I would like to see them use some of the characters from the video games because right. they, they have, you know, mainly towards the first four games, they have mm -hmm. genuinely good characters, you know, with the remakes and whatnot. You know, the original games, you know, were kind of cheesy, but they were good because of that. The remakes have more character development and whatnot, you know, with Resident Evil, specifically the games. So I would maybe like to see maybe if they did a movie based on the video game but here's my problem with that yeah. if they're gonna if they're gonna do a movie based on the video game it's probably gonna suck yeah because, well, avoid it though if they do it right it would because be they're because look at the track record of video game movies <clears throat> and, and plus what i've noticed is they try so hard to include that stuff from the video game right that it weighs it down because they're wanting to appeal to the video game people that go there, which is their base. Right. right. Their base. But then after a while, you're looking at going, this is too much. They're pulling too much from the video game. And people who are not familiar with it or don't care for video games, they're the ones who really are putting their voice to places like uh, Green to, uh, uh, as Tomato and all that. Yeah, well, because. Just, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Well, let me ask you a question. If it's really hard to do a reboot and do exactly Resident Evil, the first game, into a movie, because I guess you really can't have the stupidity of certain things, why exactly. don't they do a Resident Evil 1 and 2 and 3 video game as a movie because it was all in Raccoon City? No, it was not. They 3 wasn't in Raccoon City? 1 was not in Raccoon yeah. City. 
What do you mean one was one in was in one was in the mansion, which was outside of Raccoon that City. That was outside of Raccoon City. Yeah, it was City? out it was in the mountains outside of Raccoon City. And it wasn't until the second or third they found the the underground. The two in two and three were in Raccoon City. The problem with that is two follows Claire and Leon. Three follows I'm I'm sorry. You Claire and Leon, right? Jill. No, Jill was three. Okay. J- yeah, yeah, yeah. Claire Redfield, yeah. Two follows Leon and Claire because Claire goes to the city looking for Chris, her brother, who was one of the main characters from the first game. Chris Redfield, Claire Redfield, his sister, comes to the city looking for him. She meets up with Leon S. Kennedy, who it was his first day on the Raccoon City uh, police force, and this all took over, you know, the, the virus, the T-virus and the G-virus took over, mainly the T-virus. And then three was about Jill. She was in the, it was basically at the same point. However, she was being chased by Nemesis. Right. So it would be kind of difficult to do that because you'd be juggling possibly three stories. But I mean, if, if, if they decided to do, we're going to focus on Leon and two, let's say, I guess they could do that, but then you'd have Jill being chased by Nemesis and it would get, it would get really confusing. Well, here's the thing. I mean, Four, well, first, before we talk about four, Codename Veronica was was different. Yeah, oh, yeah. And that could be a movie in itself. Yeah. And Resident Evil 4 could be a movie in itself. Yeah. So my thing is, like, instead of doing Alice, why don't we just purely do the video games? Because each story, like, even seven is a completely different thing. The, I mean... Yeah. Want to, and, and, and here's the thing. You want to have something that's different in each movie. You don't want to have, I guess, a reoccurring character unless they skip movies like the video game, which will make it more interesting. So in other words, they could film one Resident Evil movie and then another team could film another at the same time but at different spots with different actors. So that would work perfect. I mean, they could bang out the whole six movies in like three years the problem with that is uh, because i heard it on collider and before it was even uh, changed to collider from amc with video games you have uh, have these those little those little screen things those little in between areas that works great for the for the video game it works because they but you could do it you could do a story about each character background translating that to the big screen I mean, they could do they could do a thing about stars in the beginning, could last fifteen twenty minutes before mm-hmm. they even get to the mansion, and then like twenty minutes in, they're in the mansion, the dogs, the different thing, and then they, they find the thing on the roof. I mean, that could be a movie that they could. Str- I mean, it's an hour and a half, so my cut yeah, scene, but I this problem is like I said, the cut they said there, and I agree, the cut scenes in video games, a lot of times they get they got them shot, and that that works great for the video game. But they can have the thing where the thing's turning around and he's eating the body. This cutscene needs to be shot like this. This cutscene needs to be shot like that. And like I said uh, a moment ago, uh, video game makers, they want to put their two cents into the game. They want their merchandise and their name in the But they can make this pure horror where it's not a joke. Like you're genuinely afraid. Like when she's walking down the hall and the dog breaks through the window. If they got a good enough score and you're not expecting it and they do it when you're not expecting it, they could scare the shit out of you. Okay, here we go. Same notion. But do it from the POV of the dog. But but when you see it, have a mirror have her by walking by something that's reflective so you see the dog breaking through the window at the same time. But to be, here's my thing, though, and and this I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this, but just you know, there's a lot of things in the Resident Evil games that just won't work in a movie. I know that, and and Same and you're, you're going to have to cut a lot of that stuff out. So you're going to have to put stuff in there, like in other words, with the mansion. Maybe no, 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 no. I, I, I not even put stuff in there. You're going to have to take things out to yeah. make it work. Right, but you film. could take things out. You could put people in the mansion. Trying to hide well, from this thing. No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying even if they took out two or three of the main bosses from the game, 
and and tried to put it into a movie, that's still too much to put into a movie. It, it just it, at, at that point and now the problem is it's a lot of those things that lead to other things in the story. So if you mm-hmm. take out one boss, you're going to have to rewrite what happens there. Not to mention, you're not going to have a movie with this amount of puzzles that you have to solve. I know that. You know, it's not going to so, be any puzzles. So it's basically, just be what a- and and there's the problem. So so this is what I'm saying. I think that they should do new stories with the characters that we have established. I'm against you know, do, that. Do a different. Well, there's nothing else you can do because this is why. If you let's say they decide we're going to put it in the mansion, okay, great. Put it in the mansion. Make the mansion look like the game. Have the characters from the game in the mansion, right? I guarantee you, they immediately throw out from the script. Yawn. Plant forty two or plant forty one, whatever it was. I think it was plant forty two. Um, the the uh, Neptune. The the wasps the underground part of the game, the hunters. And at that point now, it's like, this isn't even Resident Evil. This isn't right. the first game. This See, isn't but here's the game. problem with, you, you can't, like we talked about the Marvel Universe, you can't have dramatic change where it's unrecognizable. People have to relate this to something familiar. Right. And that, that's why I'm saying you keep the characters from the game, you keep the viruses, you keep Umbrella, you keep the villains to, for the most part. And you keep like a similar score or something like that, but you you keep it horror, like you said, because horror survival is what mm-hmm. sells these games, not action, as right. we've seen with fives and six, and part of four. Before was pretty good. Um, you know, you you don't completely change it, but like you know, because I think like what you said, that was the problem with the the the, the last Resident Evil film series, because they tried to change it so much, and it's like, is this even Resident Evil? Right. What I'm basing my ideas off of is the CGI movies that they've made, which have so far all been really good. And they're new stories with the characters that we already have. Yeah, and well, they, they don't want to do Alice anymore. Huh? They don't, it wants to be a reboot. They don't want Alice. No, I, I'm assuming that they're not going to have her. So right. I, I would say that in this first movie, I think Jill should be the main character. I think Jill Well, Valentine I mean, Jill was, be. wasn't Jill the main character with the mansion? Well, it was her or Chris. I mean, you know, Jill and who Chris, you right? As, you could play yeah. as both of them. What if? All right. What about this crazy thing? What if they just flat out do? They don't start with the mansion, mm-hmm. and they just start out with Resident Evil Four. Just, I think that that would be a terrible idea. Okay. Or Resident because Evil that, 7. that introduced a whole new virus that wasn't even the T virus. Right. That was a mutated version of the. It, it, it was the Las Plagas, which wasn't even a virus; it was a parasite. Right. And okay. it, it was it was it was such a like it, it, Umbrella. I don't think was even the villain of that one. They were involved, but I, I'm I, if I remember. I mean, correctly, it was a good game, man. It was I mean, good. If I remember correctly, though, because I, I haven't played it in a while, Las Plagas was a totally different thing, and Umbrella was interested in it, and that's why they sent Ada Wong to get a sample of it. Mm. If I remember correctly. Because they were trying, they're basically doing what they did in Resident Evil 7. Umbrella is not the villain of Resident Evil 7, but they're interested in the virus, quote unquote. It's not really a virus, but they're interested in the thing that. Um, well, what is, is the thing of Resident Evil 7? 7? Resident Evil 7 was a rival corporation, apparently, who was trying to make a bioweapon that could match Umbrella or, or just have a bioweapon that they could sell. And it wound up being their main product, I guess you could say, from uh, or potential product for uh, for their company was going to be this like black mold that was produced by this little girl. The problem is they raised her in an environment where she had no family, she had no friends, she was basically a test subject, and this all had a psychological effect on her. And she was like, well, fuck all of you. Excuse my language. I'll kill everybody. I'm going to kill right. everybody. And I want a family of my own. And if you're not going to be my family, I'm going to kill you. So that's kind of where it all went wrong. And then she and one other person from the ship that they were on wound up in 
a swamp, I believe, in Louisiana it was. And was that the one with the, which had the whole, uh, everybody had a little bit of a hoopla over because of uh, the zombies were black? And, no, that was uh, five. That was five, okay. I couldn't yeah. Know if we, yeah, I couldn't the, if that was five or six. This one was the one that just came out with the with yeah. the uh, with the the um it it was an American plantation. It wasn't really like a mansion, and basically the family that owns this plantation found them, the girl and and one of the other people that survived from the ship. And the little girl was like, "Oh, you're all going to be my family now," and she infects them with this black mold, and it drives them nuts because she's also controlling them, and it all gives them their abilities. And the character you play as, Ethan, is the husband of the other character that survived on the ship with the little girl. He she was supposed to be the from, nanny, right? That was supposed to be her job? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he gets a message from her saying, hey, I'm alive, by the way. You should come get me. A year and later, right? Or something? It's like three years later, yeah, three something like later. that. And he drives down to this, this plantation, and that's when it all goes to hell for him. Right. She doesn't even remember sending it to him, right? Or something like that? Yeah, or... she, she doesn't remember it because it's implied that the little girl was controlling her to send that to Ethan oh. so that Ethan could become her quote-unquote father. But right. when he refuses, she's like, well, now I'm going to have to kill you. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's, it's a great game. It's, it, you know, it's, it's great. Yeah. And, <laughs> excuse me, that one I could see being made into a movie. Right, because that had less of the like over the top bosses. Like there wasn't a giant snake in this game, like yeah. there wasn't the first one. Right. But, so I mean, they would have to do some tweaking, but well, I don't know. Fact, I'm interested because I love Resident Evil. So yeah, I hope well, that they the remind a lot of people of the this last Logan movie. Do the fact that you had a genetically engineered kid. Yeah. And here you have Logan that had a genetically engineered kid. And that's the only problem I see with that, because people are going, okay, did they steal this from the movie Logan, or is this... No, that was before Logan. I know, but still, there's going to be a lot of people who are not familiar with the, the Resident Evil games, and they're going, this sounds a little bit... Uh, I'm just... Well, that's why I think if, if they do something new, yeah. if they do something okay. different, but keep it in line with what we know as Resident Evil, that's where your movie lies. Because to be honest with you, I mean, look at what happened with Assassin's Creed. I mean, yeah. yes, there were there were new elements in that movie, but you know, it just wasn't handled well. Now there could be, like you said, Joe, there could be the outlier that they get a director who keeps it like the game and just does a really good job with it, which I would love to see. But I just I I think that there they they would have to do so many rewrites to the first game that at that point it's like, are we even gonna focus on the first game? Or should we and keep in mind with new? Assassin's Creed that even though it was handled poorly. With the foreign numbers that brought it in, it brought it to two hundred and forty million, six hundred and ninety seven thousand eight hundred and fifty six, and the budget was one twenty five. So they might do another Assassin's Creed. They might. Yeah. So I'm all for a Resident Evil reboot. I just want it to be done really well. Yeah, I have no problems with one either, but I just feel like they need to wait just a wee bit longer. You know they're never gonna do it, bro. They're just they're gonna pop it out, man. 2019, if they quit, it, whatever. Yeah, they're gonna strike while the iron's hot because this last Resident Evil movie made a huge amount of money. Oh, tons of money. Huge. It's ridiculous. I'm surprised even ending it, but I don't even see the last one, so I don't know. All right. Uh, do you want to end it there, or you we'll go a little further? We have some other stuff. I mean, it's it's not really too crazy. But... Okay. I think we can get through it. What do we got? Um, so Shout Factory, they have now possession of an 80s set cult thriller, Jackals. So I'm assuming they're going to be releasing that. It's supposed to be a big movie. horror movie, right? They're going to make now? I've actually never seen that before. I've never seen Jackals. But this is an 80s movie that nobody ever seen? Or is it just... It doesn't say. Or are they rebooting it? I guess they're just releasing this because Shout Factory does DVDs. So I'm, I'm assuming they're going to... Okay. I'm assuming they're just going to re-release the movie, mm. maybe remaster or something like that. Okay. What else, man? Um, let's see. 
We have Chuck some stuff. This page isn't really loading, so Chucky I was in. stupid, right? The thing or no? The Chucky one was it was a, it was when on the set of the first Child's Play, they put him in a fat suit, the doll in a fat oh, suit. It was kind of weird. You can see pictures online. Oh. It's not really that much of a story, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, hmm. the other the other story we have while I'm waiting for the other one to load is um NECA, which is a very popular you know figure and toy company. Um, of course, they make a lot of Alien and Predator stuff. Um, their full line from Alien Covenant has been released, um, and pictures and whatnot. So, we I can't show it on here because there's videos and ads playing. Yeah. On the, uh, Could we type it in on Google and then get the images and show that? I can hold on. I'm I'm trying to get the images here All on right. a different page. But basically, I wonder if it's the ones I saw already, because they well, had like an Alien versus Predator type of thing where the uh, aliens. Yeah. Were down he had pred like three or four predators on one side then off to the far right yeah one it looks like it's just coming visible well NECA is 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 known really for having really quality figures with good articulation good detail and paint jobs for a decent to low price um and alien and predator i believe from what i've read are, are two of their uh bigger selling products you know, lines, I should say. Now, what is the, what is the NECA? This thing? What? Is this the Ooh, pictures? No. Nice. Hold on. I'm screen sharing it. Can you see it? No, I can't. You see it, Scott? Yeah, I see it. Uh, it might just be me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the line. Yeah. So that, that right there is the uh, Neomorph. Uh, I'm sorry, the Protomorph. That's the Protomorph. Um, those, that's a Neomorph. Obviously, face huggers and stuff. The white ones, yeah, those are all neomorphs. Yeah. Well, that's fan art, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's more from the NECA line. Not this line we're talking about, but... NECA does a lot of good stuff. They also do Godzilla stuff and Pacific Rim, or they did Pacific Rim stuff before... Uh... Hmm. They said that they weren't going to do it for this, the sequel. But... Um... Yeah, you know, uh, NECA is, awesome. is an interesting company. This is not part of that? Or no? Uh, no, that's a Funko Pop thing, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have a picture here that I can screen share. Um, okay. This is of the Neomorph. I think this is probably one of their better figures there. Oh, wow. Cool. You see that? Yeah, and and it's it's a whole thing. Now you can see the articulation in the wrist, yeah, in the arm, the leg, you know. So this is a different type of alien. This is this is an alien covenant. That's the alien that's in alien covenant. This is the yeah. neomorph in alien covenant. Oh, so this is One. not the definitive alien that we know. No, 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 no. Honestly, it, though, if we're gonna talk about you know a quick spoiler for alien covenant. Yeah, I didn't see it. I, I'm going to see it eventually. I'm not really too keen about... Yeah. But uh, These things, these Neomorphs, are probably stronger than the Xenomorphs. Yeah, that's what I saw. I mean, those but things... But they were, get wiped out, don't they? Really I mean, we've never down. seen them in the timeline. Well, let me let me just explain why... I, why this. My, and this is my opinion. You know, I'm, I'm sure that there's a hundred reasons why it's wrong, but this is just my opinion. Their life cycle is like 10 times faster than a Xenomorph's. And Scott, you saw the movie, right? Yes, I did. You, so you know what I'm talking about. They yes. don't require an egg. They don't yeah. require a face hugger. They gestate in minutes. Yeah. Wow. And when, they, and when they emerge, they're not a chest burster. They're friggin' almost fully developed, just a yeah. smaller version of themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's... you don't even know you're infected until it's no. too late. Wow. You just slowly, you just see people getting sick. It's like, okay, what's going on? And then the next thing you know, these white little things are jumping around, taking people out. And it's just, because I know the, those are a few of the things I jump when, when you see these things just boom. Mm. I, I heard that it just beat Guardians. Yeah. Not by much. Not even by a million. And that may change by tomorrow. So we may have a reversal that Guardians is number one again. But what is that saying about Alien? Covenant. I mean, I mean, 
it's going to get a sequel, but it's not it's not going to be a success as much as they thought it was. Like I said, it was a decent movie. It is a matinee movie, and it's good for your DVD collection. But it's more of a matinee movie. I would. I might. I might just see it on uh, on Wednesday, Tuesday, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll see it. So I got to work tomorrow, so um, depending. Yeah. Again, I'm not. It sucks, but uh, you know, I'm not running to see Alien Covenant. You know, what are you gonna do? All right, I think that's it, right? Yeah. the the other The other article we were gonna do, I couldn't get it to load. It had to do with American Horror Story. Yeah, that's not really a big deal. You know, they're doing a storyline that I'm not really crazy about. I I I just wish they would separate it. I mean, I understand that all these people have political views. And that's great if you're Democrat or you're Republican, whatever. But don't put it into something that we, we tend to want to watch things to escape from that nonsense. And well, to make a whole American... They are, put they are on her edge of her seat. I mean, to put the whole American Horror Story based on the election and doing a yeah. spin off that, I don't care about that. And yeah, that's nice. They dyed the guy's hair blue. And I mean, am I crazy? No, I could skip it. I mean, it's just... I, I just don't like when they just force their agendas into their – I mean, this is their baby, American Horror Story. They've been doing great. Yes, they got greenlit for two years, so don't waste a season if you know that – even if the ratings are low, that you're going to come back with a crossover with Coven and Murder House. Do a good season. I mean, the thing about election, I, I don't really think it's going to be that good. I mean, I'm not looking forward to it at all. But we'll see. I could be wrong. All right. On that note, take care. Bye for now.